am Q Cook and I am about to vent. You're a follower. Mm. You had to dumb Not shit going down. To, mm -hmm. You had to dumb shit down. Your clothing. Not even that. I had to dumb myself down. It was mm -hmm. like I started being bad in school. Mm -hmm. So I was like, okay, now I was being bad. Mm -hmm. Wasn't really going to class like my parents thought. Mm -hmm. So I was like, when's co college coming? I'm like, shit. I didn't even take no regents test. What am I gonna do? You cut regents? You a bold nigga. Like I cut a lot of classes in my day. I ain't never cut standardized stuff. So. My parents were young. They thought they were smart, but I was smarter than them. They would believe in everything I was saying. So I was like, okay, now what I'm gonna do? So this is how I'm gonna trick them. But looking, looking up college. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna go to school for fashion because I got this. Shit. I got it in the bag. What I'm gonna do? Yeah. I, got, I have to do something that I know. Cause hmm. at this point, my mom thinks I'm in school for whatever it is that the trade was supposed to be at school, but I'm not really there. Oh, you went to trade school? I don't. No, I mean they had like those little. Oh, they had things little at trades. school, yeah. like you know. And I was just like, yeah, I went there. Yeah, I went. Hmm. The whole time I'm just like not really there. Hmm. And then I was like, okay, okay. I got this. When mm -hmm. I said, everybody's like, I said, I'm going to go to school for fashion. They're like, oh. Because I'm like, I'm buying magazines. I'm cutting out magazines. I'm doing, like, I'm focused on, like, Little Kim has always been my idol. I knew everything. Mm -hmm. At least I thought I knew everything. So then I just decided that was going to be what I went to school for. Mm -hmm. And I just went for it and I did it. And I met some of my best friends in the world going to school for fashion. And mm -hmm. that's how it started. Oh, okay. That's the, um, so and I started like creating my own like um, lookbooks, like the things they do on now on Instagram. Yeah. With the, um, you see, you ever see? You probably pay mine too, cause you're a man. They have like a page when you see like a shirt, pants. Yeah. Like a whole little set. I've seen those things. Yeah. So I was making those things on my own. Like mm -hmm. I would, I would call them scrapbooks. The things that people. That's put, what like, you did uh, when you cut, when you was actually cutting out the magazine. I still have them. Yeah. Like making my own scrapbooks and. Mm -hmm putting outfits together and I started like drawing then I, that, then I didn't get into FIT because I wasn't that good at drawing but mm. I knew I was like um you know you could visually see yeah and I was business smart so I was like I said I can go to school for this and then I can switch it when I get mm -hmm. older and get inside mm -hmm. like I knew I never really could be a designer but like as far as designing my own clothes but I have a vision so mm -hmm. I always had I've always been visual you might know that because Virgos were visual so I can mm -hmm. tell you a story and it's like yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I gotta that, make I sure I hear the it. names correctly so you could put a face on this person. Or even yeah. if somebody's telling you a story, even if it's something so horrific, it's like, I don't want to hear that because yeah, I can see I it. Can see, yeah, bro. Like, I'm that kind of it's person. Yes, yeah, I'm really visual. So mm. I knew that that was, was for me. It was, And also, it was either that or music because like, I used to tie music and fashion together and they're so mm -hmm. intertwined like we don't realize it. That's how come a lot of rappers are influential in the fashion industry mm -hmm. because it's, it, it goes hand in hand mm -hmm. that marketing advertising is all on the same pot mm -hmm. so i was gonna go to five towns for music okay that's suny yeah i was gonna i was gonna go to five towns up in long island you know yeah. that school i was gonna go there then i said like, now nah, i want to leave so then i was like man forget five towns because i was reading the, um the first book i read before i went to college was how to get into the music business yeah you know that thick book that was yeah. like everybody's yeah. first book i that read was like the and it had the laws and all that type of shit i read that Mm -hmm. I was like, this is what I want to do. Because mm -hmm. I like, everybody, you know, said I should be on the radio because I have like a weird voice. Yeah. So it was either that or that. And then I was like, you know what? If I do fashion, I could be on the radio. If I do radio, I could be in fashion. Mm -hmm. You know, so it was like, then I just like, you know what? I put a lot of pressure on me. I'm just going to go with fashion. Mm -hmm. And that's what it was. Mm -hmm. Okay. So um, to, this, to this day, um, what would you describe your style as? It's actually changing right now, but mm -hmm. I'm still like a, I would like to say I'm a vintage connoisseur. Mm -hmm. Cause I like the new stuff, but like I stick to the classics. Mm -hmm. I like to buy things and wear things that like timeless pieces. Mm -hmm. Like I don't really follow what's out right now that mm -hmm. much. You're not really trendy. No, I'm not, mm -hmm. I'm not really trendy. I don't think I'm trendy. Like I have a little, here and there, but then that's like those things I'll give away or throw away. Mm -hmm. I'm real classic. I like to to um, wear things for shock value or things that I can eventually get keep forever. Uh, All the things that I buy that are trendy, I, I look at in the class like, why did I buy this? Really? Yeah. So Hi, uh, I'm Q. I just vented. Please like, comment, and subscribe.